is in America, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's about, it's 25 to two to three. I can see that was a waste of time, wasn't it? <laughs> time check, we're wrong, time check. And our guest has arrived, it's Catherine Priddy, who's just come off stage one. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? I'm all right, thank you, yes. How I, was the stage one experience? It was great. We were just saying how uh, great all the crew were, it all felt very relaxed, very nice on stage, and uh, yeah, the crowd were very happy, so it was a, a good experience. Brilliant. And you were saying uh, the last time you played here was in the Den in 2019. Yeah, so a slight a slight shift in terms of stage size. <laughs> just uh, a little. But yeah, that was back in 2019, and then it's just been the long, the long wait for uh, Cambridge to happen again. So amazing to be on the main stage this time around. Yeah, huge, huge jump. So has a lot happened in your own life and your musical life in that time too? Yeah, so I released my debut album uh, in June last year, and things have kind of... Um, grown nicely since then it's all been going really well so I've been keeping busy and uh, Cambridge have remained very supportive in t- throughout all of it actually so it's a uh, yeah it's all been going really well and you're Cambridge uh, you're sorry Birmingham based yes yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the folk scene like in that area it's really good I mean Birmingham has a fantastic music scene in general it's got a really rich history of music um, so there's lots of great venues really lovely community and uh, we've got Mosley Folk Festival as well, which is a wonderful local festival. Get some really big names in. Um, some great venues like the Kitchen Garden Cafe, Hare and Hounds. And uh, yeah, just a really nice folk folk scene in terms of bands who kind of support each other as well. It's quite close knit, which is nice. That's really lovely. And it's also, uh, you're, I'm kind of noting all those places you're telling me. So next time we're in Birmingham, yes. we, can, we yeah. know where to go. That's the one. Yeah. It's definitely, <laughs> if you're outside the area, sometimes you do need a bit of a, a shove for some of these yeah. things, don't yeah. you? No, I think I, I live about five minutes away from the Kitchen Garden Cafe and they've got folk gigs nearly every night of the week so that's the one to go to amazing brilliant and I have a copy of your um, new album here and it's going down very well hasn't it it's got some really great reviews and I believe you've been touring with Richard Thompson yeah so I did a tour with him um, at the end of last year which is wonderful that's the second tour we've done together actually Um, he's been really supportive and there's yeah he's a pretty good guy to have on your side so that's uh <laughs> i think we say so yes so that's <laughs> did, that's didn't he play here in 2019 or uh, was it 2018 yes. no, 19 yeah yeah, I yeah think he, did. he did i think i might have walked past him in the changing rooms and thought oh hello yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no he's lovely he's been really supportive um i think it says a lot about him as a musician as well that he's happy to kind of take someone who, you know is nobody knows a lot he, anyone could support richard thompson but he it's always nice that he picks someone who's a nobody really and kind of brings them a long tour with him it's yeah really lovely of him so. yeah that is brilliant yeah tell us about your lyrics because they're very storytelling in their own way what what inspires you when you're writing uh, I mean I do a lot of reading um, so I studied literature at university so I've always been a bit of a bookworm and I love poetry as well so I think the lyrics have always been very important to me as someone who likes reading and writing I kind of always wanted my songs to stand alone as poems as well as songs mm. um so I think often the lyrics come first for me, which I don't know. I don't know if that's a normal way round for musicians. But I don't think there is normal. <laughs> I think it's just the way it is. Yes, yeah, the lyrics. Lyrics are definitely really important and um, take a lot of inspiration from literature and a lot of inspiration from just my own experiences as well. Just kind of keeping curious and keeping my eyes open and making notes when things inspire me. Do you find the lyrics easier than the tune? Sometimes, yes, yeah. Although sometimes, if the if the melody comes first, then that can make it trickier. But I basically on my phone and in bar- various notepads around my house, I've got so many lyrics and kind of lines, or just even sometimes just words and things that sometimes then if I get a melody, I can go through all my notebooks and start to pull things together into a song. That's so. a great way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you been playing many festivals or any other gigs during this summer? Or have you got any lined up? Yes, yes. I've played a few festivals already. I had Glastonbury. Which is oh, that, yes, that of little course. Thing. I meant to ask you about that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that was really, really exciting. That was also my first live television experience and I managed not to fall over or swear. So that That's was... Pretty good. Really good. Um, had one on the Isle of Wight, which was wonderful. Uh, I've still got Green Man, End of the Road... Long Road Festival between the trees. That's all you the biggies. Really, I'm at isn't end it? of the road. Oh, I brilliant. will come and see you. I'll, be nice to I'll see a friendly you. face. I've yeah, never been you, to that one. Do you know before, which so. stage you're on? The garden stage, I think <gasps> it's called. That's, oh, that's my favourite. Yeah, I think right. I'm opening that stage on the Sunday. So we nice. will be there. We yeah. will be there in full Excellent. force. There's a whole load of us Good. going. Good. Oh, uh, nice. It's it's a beautiful festival. Have you been to it before? No, never. I've heard really good things. Yeah, I've been for about five years in a row now. Well, brilliant. Pandemic 
yeah, of course. allowing and yeah, all that yeah. rubbish. But oh, brilliant! So you've got a load, and Green Man's meant to be really good yeah, as well. Yeah, again, heard it? heard really good things. That's another main stage one, which I'm slightly nervous about, but uh, it'll be fun. I'm no, sure. you've done you've done the <laughs> folk festival. I'll be solo yeah. at Green Man's. So it'll be slightly different. I'll be walking out on my own, but um, yeah, it'll be really good fun. I'm looking forward to them. So how do you find that feels when you know doing the difference between doing solo and, and being with the band? Um, it's a bit different because there's no one to... It's just having someone, even though George, who plays with me, doesn't tend to say much, <laughs> just having him on stage with me yeah. is a bit of moral support. Yeah. And it's also someone to debrief with uh, afterwards. Whereas when, if I used to, when I've done solo tours, you go and sit in your dressing room after and think, was how was that? Is that yeah, any good? Yeah, <laughs> and you yeah. just start to overthink stuff. So it's quite nice having someone else just to just to enjoy the festival with as yeah. well. Yeah, but the solo ones are still really fun, and they tend they feel quite empowering. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about because in, in 2019 you won the Raphael Award. Yeah, um, it's the Christian Raphael Award mm-hmm. to get that right, and that's a prize given to um, a developing artist from the festival just won mm-hmm. every year and you won that how did yeah. that feel that must have been really exciting yeah that was a really big honor because I didn't know I was nominated for that beforehand I think an email had been missed somewhere so I had no idea about it and then I found out I'd uh, I'd won which was incredible um and actually it has had a huge impact on everything I've done since because as part of the prize I was introduced to Richard Wooten um who works in radio like PR stuff and I've continued to work with him for the album release and he's become such a valued team member for me um and also the financial and just moral support of the prize as well as having it on your kind of musical cv is such an important thing so they've been wonderful yeah no it's it's a fantastic Mm. a fantastic thing that maybe a lot of people don't know about so it's a a sum of money that you get every month Mm -hmm. for a year isn't it and that helps you out with your expenses yeah yeah and it's made a huge difference and part of the reason um i remember when i won that award they said right we want to see you bring another like expand your sound on stage which is why I thought right I'm going to get George along to come and play with me on stage and that was off the back of that prize so they've uh, yeah it's been huge 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 help help such a generous yeah prize like as Linda well. was saying it's really enabling isn't it because really sometimes enabling. you want these things but you know you just can't get yeah. you know how can you get the funding yeah, for you it just, otherwise you just need someone just to kind of open that door yeah. for you I think yeah we yeah. actually have Catherine Pr- <laughs> We actually, I'm well, sorry, you're Catherine Pretty. <laughs> we, we actually um, have. Um, sorry, I if you'd like to put the chair the other side where the microphone is. Here we is. go. Yep. We've got someone from the Raphael Award here to talk about it, actually. Hello. Hello, you're Vicky. Hello, Catherine. Aren't you? I'm Vicky. You're Vicky, Raphael. Yeah. Tell us very briefly about the, about the prize. Right, briefly, Christian, my son who's 36, um, has, doesn't actually speak and hasn't actually told us in words, but it's obvious how much he loves music and music's a huge part of our life. So I used to come to the folk festival when I was a student and then I brought my children up coming to the folk festival. And um, it seemed obvious to me that Christian needed to somehow find a connection because he was loving it. He was a bit of an icon. He'd meet people in Sainsbury's doing the year. He'd say, I've seen you at the folk festival. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I listened to the BBC Two Radio Folk Awards and I thought, hmm, we could do something homegrown and local. And it's, it's been rather um, exciting. It, how, it, <laughs> how many years has it been running? So in the, f- I, I, the first year we had Mishra, who've just been on Radio yes. Two. Yeah. Um, then we had Catherine, I think. And then last year we had Nick Hart. So three years, but then the pandemic got in the way of course. a bit. Yeah. yeah. But it, do you know what, Vicky? It's an admirable thing to do mm. because you're really helping people out here, you know, just like Catherine's just been saying. It's, it's, it's made a huge difference to her. Well, yeah, it has. But blow the admiral. It's, it's really fun and really yes. enjoyable. And it makes us feel really connected. I, I do really feel as though Christian and, and us as his family have a little network of people now who we like and admire and follow. And it's in, it really enriched our life. Really has. And you two have got to know each other through this as well. We have. You? Yeah. We were able <laughs> to see friends. each other a few times at gigs and things, so it's been wonderful. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much, Vicky. I was hoping that you would appear. I wasn't sure that you were here. <gasps> I'm so busy. <laughs> you are. You are. Well, thank you for finding the time thank to come you. and talk to us. Now, You're Catherine, very welcome. talking yes, about, are you, is there anyone that you'd like to collaborate with, you know, going forward? Yeah, I mean, quite a few people I'd love to collaborate with. Um, Who's on your bucket list? You know, on my a, my oh. ultimate bucket list would be someone like Johnny Flynn, <gasps> Richard yes. Hawley. Um, yeah, there's quite a few people I'd like to. I don't want to say them just in case <laughs> it doesn't happen. 
Okay. <laughs> well, they're two good ones but. to start with. I think <laughs> yeah. uh, Richard Hawley's supporting elbow in a few yes, weeks at Old yeah. End. Maybe you should like you know get in, in there the and just have Guy it. Garvey has. Uh, is a fan of what I'm doing. So maybe that's another there one. There you I go, see? They'll be there in knock, the same knock room. Knock on some doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If you don't ask, you don't get. Don't get. You know, shy, and he's shy Ben's getting out, I believe is the expression. But Correct. Yes. And also, he's a, he's a, Guy Garvey is a great um, champion for um, up and coming, up and coming music no, as well. Is, so. Yeah, we need voices like that. So Yes, well, I'm, I'll be looking forward to seeing that. I would, <laughs> be, I would pay good money for that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's been brilliant chatting to you, ah, Kevin thank Biddy. You. Thank you very much for coming over to talk to us. Yeah, no. And good luck with the career. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, Enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you at the end of the road. Yes, I'll see you there. And uh, we're going to finish with your uh, the 